25,000 souls. Holy moly. It's a gazillion. Also, the, the developers were, uh, were very nice, and they let you, and they made it so that the bosses give you a homeward bone. Yo, Doris. Yuppie. Okay. This is going to be... Oh, also, uh, I think we're running a little faster, too. Yeah. Because I think endurance affects equip load. So. What? What can it possibly be? I'm trying to see if anyone's at your house. Huh? Huh? What? Victor's, like, glued to his phone. Oh, these guys are cool. There. What is he wearing? Butcher outfit, I guess. But, uh... I think I think endurance affects equip load. And so, since we have a higher equip load, we can run faster with this armor. Mm -hmm. So... Uh -oh. you. We need to come over here. Because there's an item here that we need to get. There we go. So yeah, we need we need this right here. A large ember. And this lets us... So right now our halberd is at plus 5. And the large ember lets us get it to plus 10. With Andre. Ooh, we get the sack. There you go. Alright, alright. Also, for some reason, people in this game complain um, about mimics. And you know what a mimic is, right? Chest. Yeah, the chests. Yeah. Um, the mimics in this game... See how the chain on the chest goes backwards? Mm -hmm. Every single mimic, it goes towards the front of the chest. All right. So you can literally just see if it's a mimic or not. So I don't... Uh, people complain about... I don't know why you would complain about mimic, mimics in this game. Also, they're never... They're never random either. Mm -hmm. There's always the same mimics every time, so... But yeah, the mimics in this game, they have... The chain goes towards the front of the chest. And then you could use um, you could use a uh, Lloyd's talisman to like kind of put the mimic to sleep, and you can get what's inside without aggroing it. Interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So, w what do you think about Dark Souls, Victor? It's a fucked up world. Fucked up basement. Look, it's the female undead merchant. I haven't seen. She looks like your mama, dude. Oh. So she sells all right stuff. But we're going to her right now. Right now we're going to go back to Firelink and uh, probably end the session. What's that Firelink exactly? Just everyone? Yeah, it's like the hub. Then this is a shortcut. So we open that gate and now we're going to be like right here. Let's build this rat real quick. He didn't even do anything. Yeah, he might have something for me. No, he didn't. Just like every rat. Rats never got nothing for nobody. Jump, dude. Oh. Oh. Let's tank it. I don't think it's good fire. Did you see that? What? The one just fell off the ledge. Oh, uh, the, the one he killed. Yeah. Yo. Oh yeah, so now the, uh... Oh, yeah. We need to go over here anyway, because I don't remember if we picked up the ring or not. No, we didn't. But then look. Oh, he's not here. He should be here. We talked to him. 
Let's see. Sometimes I need to reload the game. Yeah. Because this game is poopy. It's just not a very good game. You guys tell me? Basically. Uh, okay, he's still not here. Uh, basically the, the guy in the gold hat that I was talking about earlier should be here. <laughs> under the bridge. Mm hmm But I guess we didn't talk to him enough, I don't know. You don't like it. Look, there's a sorcerer. So this guy teaches us sorcery. And then the pyromancer's here. He teaches us pyromancy. We can get the, the flame for free, actually. Yeah. This is my second favorite NPC in the game. That guy? Yeah. Why? He's a homie. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I've been seeing the spells with you. This is the off, dude. Yeah, why is that? Why is he sitting like that? He's, he's chilling out. Like he can't stand up to talk to us? Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that, you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, go take this. Bro, sitting there like there's no, without a care in the world. Mm-hmm. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Well, let's get started right now. Okay, Mary Sue Powers. Mm hmm. He's all pyromancer now. I'll do that. I don't plan on upgrading the flame that much right now, but the mushroom's really good. I can show you that later. Yeah, this guy. He's still crying and moping around. Mm hmm. And then soon we'll have the onion man standing over here. I don't want him here. No, you don't. Oh. What do you even do? You didn't do nothing. Alright guys. We're gonna end here for today. We're um, the end of the game now. We're about halfway. <laughs> we're almost at the halfway point. Uh-huh. So we killed the moonlight the cavern demon, the moonlight butterfly, the gaping dragon. And was there one it. more? No, we killed those guys, um, which means it's finally time to go to Blight Town. And then when we go to Blight Town, we're gonna kill Quaylag. Um, Quaylag. Yeah, we're gonna kill Quayludes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna ring the second bell that he was talking about, and then we're gonna go to Anorlando. That was like a plan. Mm-hmm. And then so next time, Victor is gonna see the most iconic best fight in this entire game, which is uh, Ornstein and Smo. Awkward. No, 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 no. This game falls off really hard after the after the halfway point. Yeah. Uh. I don't like it. No, the problem the the lore is that uh, this game this game had like a weird like rush development, so the second half of the game is pretty bad. Well, with with like the area specifically, I think the boss fights are fun. Uh huh. But there's like a lot of like enemy spam in the later areas. No polish. Uh. -huh. Like Lost Isolith is really bad for enemy spam. Uh huh. And that, but I actually think Lost Isolith is, is fine. The worst area in the game for me is New Londo Ruins, which is right below us right now. Mm -hmm. And in that area, there's ghosts that you need. Um, you need to equip a special item to even fight them. And then the area that you have to walk through is like a hallway. It's like hallways, but the ghosts can just go through walls. They don't care, and they also have these like long hooks that can just hit you through the walls. Mm -hmm. So it's really annoying to get around them. Yeah. And then... And then, yeah, you have, like, the painted world I was talking about earlier. Where the painted world is just a map, like... With everything just a, you could have put in the game. Yeah, it's just a map where they put all, a bunch of unused content. And that's not even DLC, that's just... No, it's just in the game. It's weird. But that's why we had to go back. Oh, we fought the Stray Demon, that's what it was. There was four bosses. So... I don't the Stray Demon. It was at the asylum. Oh, just another asylum demon? Yeah, it was okay. when we fought the other asylum demon. Okay, okay. And that's why we had to get the peculiar doll. Mm -hmm. Because you need the doll to access the painted world for some reason. Good. The DLC in this game is really weird because the DLC, uh, you need to fight the Hydra, but then you need to run all the way left through the water for no reason, basically. Yeah. Reload the game, kill a golden crystal giant, and then talk to Dusk, go back to where the Hydra was, talk to Dusk again, go back to where you just killed the Crystal Giant, and pick up an item, and then you have to go halfway through the game to Duke's Archive, pick up a pendant, go all the way back 
to the Hydra, all the way back to the cave again. And then you can open the portal. I don't like that. And it's like, well, it's just really stupid because it's like, how, how, who figured this out? You know. who, who figured out even how to access the DLC that they paid for? It's called Good Game Design. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll get back to that. All right. Bye-bye.